Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, I decided we're gonna, we need to go to Alaska. We really need to go to Alaska to be able to um, uh, take out all those um, upgrades. We are really falling behind on them and that's really stopping us from uh, using the trucks that we want to use. Um, now, as for scouting, technically uh, I won't even that we have reached level 12 we have access to some chain tires on most of our trucks but sadly not on the base star which is our dedicated off-road truck so um i would i bought this caterpillar which is a new heavy duty truck we just unlocked uh i would use this uh but it's mm, you know i guess we could the only difference in upgrades between the fleet star uh, right now and the caterpillar is in regards to a uh, suspension uh, we don't have the race suspension on the caterpillar however uh, at the very least the caterpillar has 15 inch uh, 47 inch uh, tires I don't think we have all-wheel drive on this do we I think that was the problem with the caterpillar let's have a look at it customize Oh yeah, we don't have all-wheel drive on it. That's the problem. That's the actual problem. Yeah, no, we will not risk going out without all-wheel drive or chain tires. Uh, so that kind of really uh, doesn't leave us with many options. Mm. So yeah, okay. Uh, I know you guys are probably getting tired, but we are going to be using the Fleet Star yet again, just because it's the one we have most of the upgrades for. And actually, you know what? Let's um, let's put on uh, the actual. Uh, huh. Interesting. So, dual is EOD. Oh, right. We don't, we don't have any specific uh, single tire tires for this. Uh, single traction tires. Hmm, okay. Doesn't fully matter, to be fully honest. Uh, these are fine enough. So, uh, let's head out. Let's start exploring Alaska. Again, I'm excited about Alaska. We've been looking at this for a long time and just staying off of it just because we thought you know i'm not ready for it but at this point i think i'm good let's see what challenges Alaska has to throw at us It would be disappointing to see if Alaska would be an easier <laughs> map than uh, the rest. I did hear that uh, it has more accessible highways than uh, Michigan. And here we go, our first little bit of snow. Be a bit tougher than mud. Okay, not sure if this is the proper route we need to take. Uh, possibly not. Let's uh, stick to the side of the pipe. is blocked off really uh wow uh okay is there any option for me to cross like under it okay, let's 
let's switch to a low gear please with differential and all wheel drive okay i guess we have enough no we don't have enough clearance uh wow okay Yeah, this snow is really different than mud. I mean, it allows you to go through it with less horsepower, but it does block you more. If it makes that, if it makes sense, so you can you will go through through it. Uh, you will eventually go through it, not like mud, just getting you stuck down. But it will take time. Yeah, definitely more uh, horsepower uh, engines on this truck, on this uh, map, sorry. Uh, actually, I do wonder... Well, that was entire, entirely uh, my bad. I was wondering if we can go through, go under it through here. But that's a lot of snow. I don't think I want to battle with it. Hopefully there's a passage later on. It would be relatively sucky for have the map to be blocked off by a single pipe section. on to like a, a good bit of land and just boost it off okay where are we even going <laughs> well i guess we're not getting to that watchtower but might as well we're getting to another watchtower and this is just a little house here i was hoping maybe there's like a trader or something to along there i still would like to use the pay star to explore this map instead of the fleet star but the lack of um Proper uh, chain tires just makes me go, uh, maybe not. I'm not even sure how required they are. I mean, I guess it is against ice, sure. But I'm not seeing much ice here. I mean, if ice is only a thing. Bags on ice. Today's not my day. First, I get attacked by a bear while I was crossing the river, and then when I escape, I realize I've lost all my tools. They must be in the river. Can you go get them for me? Okay, you're worried more about the tools than uh, than the bear. Okay, sure. That just attacked you. But uh, I was saying that uh, ice, maybe just a road thing. I mean, I'm not seeing much ice here, just snow and muck. And if that's the case, uh, I really should have went to Alaska a lot earlier. We do have a gas station somewhere to right here. But let's just uh, head through this to the watchtower. Oh, I think there was a better option than what I'm doing right now, but hey, off road. Uh, although, let's be careful here, let's still not tip. The snow actually catches onto your truck a lot better. It stops you from uh, falling over. It just seems a lot more stable in the in the mud, in the snow. Sorry. Okay, so we unlocked a few things here. Okay, 
Okay, wondering why the... Okay, so bags of ice. Wait. The to your tools are four bags of cement? <laughs> sure. Sure do. Okay, uh... A group of scientists went to the mountains on an expedition. They must have gotten trapped. Thanks to the roof, we want to find a return to safety. Okay, I guess we can entirely totally do this. This is such an easy little job. We need to go down this way anyway. And deliver the port to cargo containers. Not exactly sure, but okay. Okay, so, uh, upgrades, right? We are here for upgrades. Is there any upgrades that we unlocked? Uh, okay, apparently no, not. So, let's do this. Uh, let's use this bridge here. If It seems a bit broken, but we should make a good deal of it. Let's activate this uh, quest here. And then we can head back to the fuel station and get that sorted out. And maybe help those scientists and haul a CK1500 down the mountain. Apparently that bridge is in a good condition. I don't know why the map showed it as a broken bridge. Easy there, physics. Let's not break the bridge, shall we? Feels a lot different uh, when mud it, it doesn't st stuck you, doesn't stick you as much. You can still go through it, but uh, it offers more consistent resistance. If that makes sense. Name Speed, our for transfer company called Alaskan Transit. We had an unfortunate accident. Containers, river, got it. Nothing we can do right now. We don't have a crane and we will not be handling it today. Let's head to that fueling station, get ourselves fueled up, save those dudes, and then uncover more watchtowers and hopefully upgrades. Uh, Alaska has four maps, so not exactly sure how those are thrown around. But for the very least, uh, probably the next few episodes, two or three episodes, we would be exploring Alaska and trying to get all the areas uncovered. Again, uh, one of the problems which we are getting stuck in with right now is indeed the um, the matter of upgrades. Well, not exactly stuck on, but you know, uh, having a truck have or not have all-wheel drive is a pretty big thing. Uh, race suspension isn't that huge, but you know, it helps. Um, engines. Engines are a big one. For sure, uh, we have like a few trucks, including the P12 and P16. Uh, we've had troubles with the P12 uh, last episode. And I'm hoping not all of them, but some of them will be solved by using uh, a stronger engine, which can be found in Alaska. But again, engines are things which uh, will be unlocking in Alaska. So it would make our jobs a lot easier to get those unlocked earlier rather than later. I know it's weird saying that after we've done most of Michigan, 
but uh, we are reaching a point in uh, the story, at least in uh, Michigan's contract list, where we can't afford to, you know, have un under-equipped uh, vehicles. That will make my job a lot harder, having to come back with like rescue trucks all the time. For sure, I don't want to start doing every mission as a, as a two truck mission, and the moment we actually start going into Island Lake uh, with actual cargo, that mud will be horrible, and we will need uh, strong engines to go through it. Let's uh, head through here. Let's get whatever this is. Yeah, uh, got an emergency group of scientists, went to the mountain, and they must have gotten trapped under the storm. There's a reward for anyone they can find and return them safely. Okay, so I guess the thing in Alaska is uh, the storm came, right? As a, you know, why everything is fucked up and why they need you specifically to help them out with things. In uh, Michigan, it was flooding. In Russia, I guess it will be just another day <laughs> in the Siberian tundra. That sounds entirely legit. Oh, okay. So this is the road. Okay, sure. Let's uh, head through it. I mean, it doesn't seem to be too terribly deep. Wow. This truck surprises me every time. Water over road. Honestly, I think that should read like road underwater more. Vehicles over 40 prohibited. 40 what kilograms? No, 40 inches. That's width, height. I don't know. Either way, uh, let's uh, let's just mark a straight route and see how that goes. So where are those guys? They're up there. Okay, do we have any straight up routes that we can take so we don't bother with this uh, route here? I don't think so. And actually, this route doesn't help us at all. Anyway, it just takes us way around. Um, hmm, okay, let's, let's see if we can go up here, we'll keep a look out on the left side, see what the player says we have going straight up. I mean, with the extended winch, we don't even need to get that close, we just need to get close enough to winch them down to us. What was what we were looking for? Just a straight up, nice narrow path. Okay, what am I stuck on? This is more of physics stuck than anything else. Probably on some uh, bit of tree. that way specifically let's turn around and see if we can go straight up here uh, let's go with differential lock on on the low plus range on the gearbox and let's just mush on up <laughs> oh, I love this truck That. Okay, those are the guys we need to save, but do I have okay, those two dots? Okay, I only have, I only see them with the front of my truck. So let's pull them in. Uh, let's switch over to uh, the reverse gear, which has differential. Let's pull them down. And 
and straightening ourselves up. I'm sure the guys are absolutely petrified. Okay, we don't lose that. Let's drop the, the winch. over back to a low actually back to auto we don't really need to switch over to a, any low gear range for this spider-man it and let's bring these poor guys back home it's okay guys you don't need fuel i got enough for both of us actually i can refuel them if i really want to but don't think i will Unless we actually get really bogged down in the river here and we need them to engine power themselves through. Oh, are we taking them the wrong the right way? Stuck in the mountain. River to camp. Oh, okay, yeah, we are. water level. It may be, but not a problem. But yeah, the Fleet Star so far is making a mockery of Alaska. And again, this is not even my speci specialized off-road truck. As soon as we get, uh, what was it, uh, chain tires? Yeah, but that's a level obstruction for the pace star. But uh, what was it that we didn't have for the pace star that we wanted? The base suspension, I think? Yeah, and we kind of need it for this high snow here. Anyways, let's just uh, get this done. Thank you, word has already spread about what you did. The local radio and TV reporters have started showing up, so don't be surprised if you're asked to do an interview. Well. If they can get to me in the middle of the mountains uh, to do an interview, well, I want uh, their trucks. Okay, so, uh, what's the option here? Where are we and what are we doing? Um, hmm. I think I'd... I... Let's go back, let's refuel again. Might as well for passing right by it. Let's head down here. Go through whatever this is. If there's a quest here and you can, there's a house, it's possible that there will be. We'll get that unlocked and we'll head through this spot here. Okay, unlocking whatever... Oh, it, it, this is a truck here. Huh, cool. Let's hope oh, this is a recovery truck. It'd be nice to get another vehicle that's... Uh, well, to be honest, again, vehicles aren't our problems, just effective vehicles are our problems. So getting a stock vehicle wouldn't really help us much. Hopefully it's something that uh, comes stock with some uh, decent upgrades. seeing me uh, switch over to you know just pressing shift to clutch not even switch per se uh, the, um, the gear just clutch it when I'm on auto 
uh, that will uh, allow, usually put the car in a lower gear where it, well, it's where it's supposed to be supposed to be but it because it uh, upshifts earlier than well, you may want that gets us in a situation where you may want to downshift manually by just clutching quickly so we are having a fair bit of trouble with this let's uh, switch over to a lower gear just to push through this of a mucky point, but yet again the Fleet Star reigns supreme. Ouch. Okay, let's uh, head up here apparently. Let's be be greedy. No. There we go. Just differential lock, get ourselves a nice bit of speed and keep going. Let's keep that inertia on point. I kind of missed the bend in the road there, but it's all fine. We make the road out here. There we go. Just uh, pushing through this guy's backyard. Uh, yeah, okay, it's totally fine going the other way around. Barrels. We all know how terrible they can be when they want to. And apparently there was no quest here. Okay, cool. Not a problem. We were just passing through anyway. Imagine just putting your house at the middle of a like literally forest crossroad where everyone just goes through, just because the port is in the way. Ooh, easy there. We're not rushing anywhere. Is this the route? Yeah, okay, that makes a bit more sense. Uh, okay, hand break off. I'm always surprised just how nimble the plate star is. Why not? I guess these kinds of trucks. You'd really expect them to fit and go into fewer places than they actually do, but they just keep chugging through, don't they? That, did that tree just grow straight up in the bridge? I guess so. I'm sure if these trees are placed, I mean, I know for sure some trees are placed, you know, on the map design, but I'm not sure if these trees are actually randomly generated enough, or I know, randomly generated at all. Or are they hand placed or tool placed? Okay, new objective. Can't go to waste. Hey, names Mitch. People around here say a lot of good things about you. I need your services. A local fellow named Noah left town with his family a few months back and they abandoned their truck. Can you get it for me? So. Oh, okay, sure. In the meanwhile, what is this? Okay, just a truck. Okay, do we have to specifically... I think this is a, a load star. I think this is a load star. Okay, sure. I was uh, hoping we could uh, salvage it, but... Did we accept the task? Yeah, we did. Okay. Okay, 
so technically it's like this, but we go straight through if we really, really want. I don't think we really, really want. The question isn't if we really, really want, if we really, really can. Can we really, really can? I think we can really, really can. I mean, of course, it saves almost zero time. I'll probably get my wheels stuck in these trees and it'll probably be wasting more time. But, uh, yeah, okay, no, let's, let's not, shall we? Let's not. I'm still not sure how much tire sizes matter in regards to mud and such. Of course, bigger tires would make more sense for them to be better. Especially in regards to uh, the chassis size of your vehicle. And, well, of course, bigger tires handle weight better distribution. Well, they should anyway. But I'm not sure how that translates in the game experience in the end. Uh, I have to say I'm really liking the, the snow, I mean, uh, I'm not sure what I was expecting, but I kind of like how the snow handles, it's interesting to play through without having the muckiness of mud, you know, that situation where you just end there, you're stuck, you're done, you have absolutely nothing to do, you can just recover because you're stuck in the mud. Ooh, 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 ooh. I mean, man, even with chain tires this slips. Like you, like you have chained highway tires, right? So this is literally the best tire for this environment. Okay, what I want to do here is just uh, visit that trailer so we can unlock it. Oh, we actually have a trailer store here. Cool. We have to get really close. Just to get... We actually have to bump it. <laughs> get close enough. I'm really annoyed because there were like a few trailers I just I went by, like literally, but didn't wasn't paying attention whether they unlocked or not. And I didn't get the XP for them. Okay, uh, let's head out, let's do this last tower, and I think we can call it uh, for this episode. Drifts. At this point, this drifts. Still, it's totally insane. We're doing four to four full auto speed on this terrain in Alaska. It's insane. I really do think power to weight reigns supreme. Approach is getting the best of us right now. Let's head out slowly. Okay, so we do have a straight route up there. No shenanigans required. Huh, okay, this is weird. So, you cannot. I'm wondering why. Yeah, um. When you're in like the low gear or something, or the high gear specifically, when you're not in auto, uh, you should have, you should not be able to go back, you know, roll back in your car. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. Let's switch to lower gear. And uh, push through. Yeah, see, so the, this is what I was uh, mentioning. You know, 
snow has a fair bit of give to it. You can slowly, slowly muck your way through it uh, without feeling that you're gonna get utterly stuck. We're up here. Bridge repair, rocks fall, trailer park. What I'm actually interested in is upgrade locations. There we go. Oh, uh, Royal BM17. Interesting. And we have an upgrade location there. Stonefall, rock falls. What, what do we need? Service parts probably for these, right? No, metal beams. Metal beams. Wooden planks. And. Okay, we have to reach the trader park. But I don't know where the location is. Okay, uh, either way, we have a fair bit of things to do for the next episode. Uh, let's turn off the engine. Um, we can, we'll check out this trailer park here. We will head down here, get this upgrade, and also get this Royal BM-17, which I honestly do not know anything about. Haven't come across it in my research. And either way, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you liked this episode, uh, click like can subscribe all that good YouTube stuff share it comment down below um, I'm gonna be doing these each day every day until I finish um, well get to the point in SnowRunner where I, I've done everything that I kind of wanted to do with the game uh, I hope you guys like this episode and I will see you guys in the next one